Hello guys, what's going on YouTube and uh, welcome you to this uh, part which is the fifth part in which uh, I'll uh, tell you about some missing things which I didn't uh, show you in my other videos. So uh, one of the things which was not told to you was um, the second column. So it tells you the count of number of hard links. Uh, I wouldn't go into hard links or symbolic links right now. Uh, so if you want, you can take a note that uh, it, it has a count of hard links. So for example, in slash, you have um, the count of hard links here for all of them, okay? The, in the second column, that is uh, this guy, 2, 3, 2, 21, 205, 6, 1, 1, and 29, and so on. So I'm talking about that column, okay? So that is the second column. Now, second thing I didn't uh, tell you in one of my videos was umask. So umask is a, a, a built-in command, okay? So if you just hit umask, it will give you the default umask, which is 022. So if you remember, I had created a file. So I'll create it again. So default umask is applied. So you see it has got RWRR permissions. So it change the umask for the current uh, uh, shell. I'll just say umask zero. And then you can see that umask zero is there. Now if I create another file two, then you will see its permissions are RW, RW, RW. Now if you create a directory also, ABCD, then you will see its permissions are way different than other directories. You see it is RWX, RWX, RWX. Usually you should not set umask to zero. The default umask is quite safe, okay? And uh, it is set for uh, a reason that uh, others should not be able to change your files or directories. Although, if you want, you can disable even uh, read permission uh, for them or the execute permission on a directory. Okay, so these things were missing. Now, as promised, I will uh, show you uh, how to edit a file. So one of the key uh, things in the life of a programmer or a new person is how to create a file. So one of the basic editors is uh, gedit, which I'll show you. If you are a beginner, you should stick to gedit. So it comes installed by default. You can hit Alt F2 and then type gedit. So you, there you go. You have menu, so you can say new. You don't really need to say new, either the file. So uh, I can say my name is Shiv, okay? And then I can save this file in uh, this folder. Okay, I'll save it in LS and I'll say it, I'll name it uh, um, test.txt. So gedit is quite versatile editor and uh, uh, it is very useful also for programming, okay? Now, uh, one thing you will see is, uh, uh, okay, so if you see its preferences, uh, so you have got these preferences here. Uh, by default, it creates a backup copy before saving, okay? But I have changed my settings. It can be used to do programming also. It is quite uh, reasonably, quite good editor. I mean, reasonably good, not uh, very, very good. But uh, for beginners, yeah, it's okay. I don't use gedit myself because I, I either use VI or Emacs or some other ID depending on what I'm doing. So I use multiple editors and IDs. Uh, okay, so I'll quit this. Uh, so uh, not really, I don't intend to get it. So this is more like notepad. You can create a file and you can save it. Remember that you can save only in a directory where you have write permission. So inside your home directory, you will have permission. So, and uh, gedit will actually not prompt you outside your home directory usually. But for example, if I say save as, if I try to save it in uh, other location, for example, I want to save it in say sbin, okay? It, it won't allow me to save there, okay? Because I don't have permissions there. 
All right, I don't have write permission. Shift does not have write permission in slash sbin. So it won't allow you to save. So uh, this is for editing the file. It supports tabs also, and it supports syntax highlighting. If you are programming, say, in C, it will do syntax highlighting also. You can enable line numbers and all, okay? So I'll again uh, take it to this test uh, dot C. I'll just call it C. So it uh, does uh, nice uh, syntax highlighting. Okay. So that's that, and uh, it it supports quite a lot of languages. For example, it can even support Python, I believe. Uh, uh yeah so if i want to save is at uh, test.py yeah so it also supports python and it has few plugins also uh, here which you can install it can execute arbitrary uh, commands also from here so for example i'll show you uh, you can have a python console also um snippets i don't use so you can try it so for example in tools you can say external tools build and all it, it supports main you can say run command so you can say alas so you see uh, it shows you what is there in uh, ls directory here as this directory it shows the contents of this directory all right okay so that is that uh, and uh, i think uh, i'll keep this video short i just wanted to show you gedit so that you can create files and it's quite useful editor and uh, i'll continue on commands because uh, this series of videos is basically going to focus on commands and uh, so i'll go and show you more commands in the next video uh, I'll show you some commands like cat. There is a cat command which is quite useful and uh, I'll also show you piping things around how do you pipe it. Okay. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video guys. Till then, goodbye.